Ta-da! All right. Yeah. How are you doing? Very good. How are you? I'm good. You're not recording this, right? <laughs> Maybe. I kind of halfway had expected to have a goat or a llama here. You, you didn't pay the $100? No. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of, lot of crazy stuff happening in the world that is, is, you know, obviously insanely unfortunate, but it is cool to see the kind of innovative ideas that are, that are happening. Aaron, I want to talk a little bit about some of your tweets. I love your clarity around a lot of these things, like how the current work environment, how the current social disruption happening, how's that going to affect IT, how that's going to affect enterprise software. I've actually been using some of your tweets to share with my team. How's this, how's this going to change our world? So no matter what, I think this is going to be a dramatic accelerant to every company on the planet going to the cloud. I think that, that this is now the death nail and the kind of final nail in the coffin to any legacy IT environment. And I, and I think the way that we actually work and the, the work styles of organizations are now going to be transformed as well, where maybe in Silicon Valley, we're used to being agile and dynamic and moving quickly and you know hopping on a video call, making a decision and then moving on. Most companies don't operate that way. And so you're going to see a fundamental shift in work styles in most enterprises over the next couple of years being, again, really dramatically accelerated by a crisis. But I think it's going to have a profound impact on just how we run our businesses going forward. Last time we met, it took us like three months to get on the calendar. It was just a whole process. Yep. And th this time, you know, it, it's a few text messages and then we have it on the calendar the following day. Like, is this a good example of just like how some of the principles also about, you know, engaging with each other, engaging with businesses is going to change? You know, the ultimate irony is that in, in this sort of era of social distancing, we're going to be more connected, uh, you know, to one another. And, um, uh, you know, in our personal lives, as an example, I've spent more time interacting with my family and, and personal friends in the past month than I probably have in the, you know, five years combined. And then I think in business, it's, it, it is totally shrunk. Um, I'm, I'm very, very regularly now just like hopping on a video call with, with colleagues in Japan. That, that normally you would have like scheduled like a week out and now, you know, it's, it's 7 p.m. in the U.S. I'll just, I'll just give them a quick video call. Think about that with customers, with partners, with suppliers, with contractors, with other people in the ecosystem. And if we're always now connected and you can, you can digitally collaborate and digitally communicate and share with your clients in real time, this is going to fundamentally change business. Totally agree. I think, and I like, I, I love your, uh, I love your thoughts on this. I love the clarity around it. I think it's been fantastic. Like, I'm, like the way you can go to somebody's desk, like you just assume them now, yes. And suddenly you're there in their living room, and they're like, "Well, <laughs> well, that's the thing." So, so, so at first, at first, uh, I was, I my my business process was was immediately shocked, which was I I walk around and I ask people how they're doing and what are you working on and how's it going. And so like. So my, my normal kind of walk around style um, was broken, but then I was like, wait a second, while I can't do that, I can actually check in on multiple things simultaneously, which I couldn't do when you're physically walking around. And so now it's like, I, I can walk around the entire world and check in on how everything is going. I think the companies that, that um, figure out not how to replicate what they were doing before virtually, but to take advantage of the, the, the affordances of being virtual in, in the unique ways that, that virtual allows, those will be the companies that are able to, again, be as resilient as possible to the extent you can be, you know, through this type of event. Agreed. Awesome. Aaron, it's been great checking in. Um, Thanks, and uh, let's talk soon again. I think actually my, my, uh, the people I work with would prefer I spend my time on Zoom with you than them. So, uh, so they, they would love it if we just you know, kept chatting. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. See ya.